Roger, what what changed for you after the first set tonight? And was it were you surprised at all that the first set went against you so so much? Um, yeah, I, mean, I think I guess I was surprised a little bit both ways. You know that uh, uh, I couldn't get into the match uh, better, but uh, happens, I guess. You know, and uh, he's a good player, so. Um, yeah. So and the second set, I was not sure, you know, if I was able to turn it around like that because I thought he was, uh, he had his rhythm, I didn't have mine, and if things uh, end up not playing really out very well in the beginning of that second set, that it could be become very very complicated. Um, didn't happen, and then next thing you know, I'm, I'm up six one three love basically, and things went very quick, and I think. Uh, it's good for me to know that um, I can put, uh, you know, like streaks like this together. Um, I think in any tournament I played very well. I had those streaks uh, happening at some point, and uh, it was nice, especially off the, the Millman match and after losing the first set, that uh, I had that in me, and uh, that at the end I was able to control things. Uh, so that was that was nice today. Talk about recovery after Friday's match. I mean, what do you actually have to go through? Things like ice baths and treatments and training regimes. And how is that different from dealing with a, a long match mid-major three, four, five years ago? Well, I'm the guy who doesn't do ice baths. Uh, I've tried it once. I didn't like it, so I'll never do it again. And uh, I never did uh, the chamber either, whatever that is. Um, yeah, I'll do this. I, I'm still doing the same like I used to, you know. Uh, I try to sleep enough and... Uh, Take a massage and a stretch. Um, and that's it, really. Do that for um, as much as I can uh, to get ready. And uh, yeah, I always wonder also how other players feel, you know, after a match like this. Um, most important is that you're not carrying any injury away from a match like this, you know, because fatigue is one thing. You can deal with that with, um, I think, mental strength. And uh, I'm actually very happy how I'm feeling considering my age, considering everything that I've gone through throughout my career and um, the, the toughness of first real tough match of the season really for me uh, after having not played this kind of matches for, for some time. It's nice to see that uh, the work I did in the off-season paid off but I uh, know my, my uh, stuff I do of court is, is, is very, very routine and very simple. Are you just thoughts on playing Tennis Sangren yet next? He has a, an odd career. He's ranked 100 now, but he's got four top 10 wins at Grand Slams already. Just your thoughts on how much you've seen of him and what you make of uh, his being in a second quarterfinal here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wonder why he's not ranked higher, you know, to be honest, because uh, every time I see him play, I feel like he plays very well. Um, he's got a lot of stuff in his game that... Uh, is deserving of being higher. I don't know if he's been injured or not in the last season, to be honest. So uh, I don't, I didn't follow him that closely. Um, I mean, I remember he played Chung in the quarters. The last time I made the semis, to then play Chung with his, with his blisters and all that. So I remember watching that uh, uh, closely because I was maybe going to play the winner if I beat. I don't remember who I played in the quarters uh, that year, um, but. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to that match because I've seen him play a lot, but never played him. And you know, you always wonder on TV. Sometimes it always looks better than it could be in real. And then all of a sudden you face him. And actually, it, it's going to be this big, this big and this strong. You know, uh, I watched quite a little bit today against Fonini because it was exciting and it was very close. And it was just as I was waiting anyhow. Um, so no, it was impressive. You know how he was competing, and uh, I'm looking forward to a tough one. And clearly also mentally potentially ready to, to switch to the day session as I've been indoor at night uh, throughout this tournament. Would you like it to be days for it to be faster conditions with him? Doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, every Grand Slam uh, you play and you try to win, you have to go through all conditions, you know. Um, tonight was very fresh and you can see by, um, how do you say, by the statistics, you know, not that I love statistics, but he had one ace, you know, and it shows you how slow things were tonight. And uh, um, so day session gives you other opportunities, you know, um, and uh, night does also present different uh, options too. So, but tonight it definitely felt very slow. Yeah, this is quite a big bloke. So what sort of challenge 
are you expecting physically from him, from him? and also when you've not played someone before what mm. sort of analysis do you do in the sort of 24 hours before yeah, you well the good thing is like you have enough time here it's not like um you know like at a master 1000 or 500 or 250 where you know you finish late and then next thing you know like you got to play again at 6 p.m the next day and scrambling to get all the info together uh, in some ways you also want to focus a little bit on what has happened uh, but you got to get ready go to sleep wake up and then bang you get ready for a new player so here we have enough time so um, we're not going to talk about it tonight at, at some point maybe tomorrow uh, as it's the first time I'm playing against um, against Sangren um, today for instance I knew Martin quite well so we only st spoke about the match today and it was a night session, so we also had time. Um, but really interesting to know that, of course, at one point when I play Sangre is a day or night, so then we'll also maybe decide if we start speaking about it tomorrow. But I would, I assume that's what we'll do. And and I think the coaches have seen him um, quite a bit. Um, they'll try to get some more info, maybe look into how he's played uh, in the past against maybe players like me, I'm not sure, um, and go from there. But, uh, you know, I, I like how he, how he moves moves very explosive. He's got a nice first serve as well. He can counter punch, but also he likes to go on the attack. So um, reminds me a little bit of the, the olden days, you know, when uh, you, you would do the transition game very, very good and very, very quickly. And I feel like that's what I've seen a lot of him doing very well. match um, that you played a few years ago, you were training partners with Martin and uh, compared to that and two years ago when you played again, mm -hmm. uh, did anything surprise you tonight about his game and what changed since the last few years? I mean, conditions, you know, I think are the biggest change uh, that I've uh, um, felt, uh, you know, the day session when we played against each other was completely different feel. Also, it was our first match we've played. When it's the first one, you always feel very different. Um, I think it's just a very steady player, you know, and uh, you know what you're going to get. Uh, he's not going to per se surprise you, other than maybe just uh, his continuous strength that he shows, you know, uh, mentally, physically, and all that stuff. And he really played a great tournament, you know, he beat three, three young guys. Uh, through a tough section uh, to make it, you know, to the fourth round, and uh, um, I was surprised also, like Sanguin, that he's not ranked higher because I, I think a lot of uh, Marton, and um, um, I think through this result, it's going to give him a lot of confidence moving forward, and, uh, and then we'll see him back hopefully in the top 50 very, very soon. Thank you.